everyone welcome back to gomes tech talks channel in this video we are going to discuss about data migration concepts in business central i'll be showing you how to migrate the data from excel to business central so we have created in the previous video we have created a company if you missed that video please go and check it in my playlist so this is my youtube channel gomes tech talks okay if you haven't subscribed yet please go and subscribe now and if you haven't joined my member like uh, my community please join now to access exclusive perks and documents video of interview questions everything here okay so if you just see my playlist so you can see that you have a business central functional consultant playlist business central interview questions business central mini projects idea this is for business central technical consultant so i'll be updating all these playlists every week please go and watch it now and if you have missed the previous video of how to create a company in business central and what are the types of uh, data uh, company we can create you can check my previous video so here once you have created a company you have to migrate your data even if you use any option so if you wanted to migrate your own data that typically needs migrating the data into the your company so basic data migration needs general ledger customer vendor and items okay these are the basic um, data item which you can migrate it through the assisted setup if you want to migrate your data you have to follow the assisted setup so assisted setup is there to help you how to import your data uh, from uh, excel okay you can even import your data from any other external external erp sources or finance sources that you can do it through the extensions that we will see in a different video so here i'll just show you how to um, migrate the data through assisted setup so in order to access the assisted setup either you can go and click here search icon or else you can go and click here gear icon so if you are clicking this gear icon uh, you can see here there is assisted setup option so click that assisted setup option and just go and search here migrate so once if you type migrate you can see migrate business data so this is the assisted setup which we are going to do now so here you can see that you have various options like uh, first one is next and you have to choose what you have to choose import from excel okay then once if you choose here you have the download uh, template download option please go and download it right now first please download it right now okay so once if you have downloaded the template it will you can see a template like this okay uh, like what is what are the um, what are the header it should it should be and everything and your template should hold all the general ledger account customer vendor and item data here so you can enter your data here okay and save it so as of now i have only uh, i'm only using item data i'm using only the item data now you can go and click here setting to see whether your customer default template is selected you can even create a default uh, like you can even create your own customer template here um, by clicking here new okay and you can create a new template here as of now i'm just going to create my own template so this is the customer car, car template okay and click close if you want to know more about these customer card what is this template and anything please leave a comment i'll be taking you through that and click next it will ask you to upload the file so already i have uh, uh, stored my data uh, like entered my data in the item sheet i'm just selecting here and clicking open here so once if you click it will import the data and you can see that the four sheets which you have right gl account customer vendor and item you uh, that you can see here and uh, also you can see that number of records okay since i don't have any data in these three sheet so it is showing me zero and i have only uh, data in item sheet and i have 20 records so it is showing 20 you can just open this and see okay uh, so i have this much record here so now you can select the um, uh, select the table which whatever you want okay as of now i'm just selecting the item table and i'm clicking migrate so what happens is what some of the fields will not be applied because errors were found in the imported data so click s to continue whatever is possible one tables are processed 20 records are modified so click ok and now you can just simply select finish now what happens is what your data has been migrated here 
okay you can go and check your items data and once if you select the item you can see that a lot of data has been migrated here okay so this is what about the data migration like how you can do it with the excel if you wanted to do with the help of um, uh, any other external like if you wanted to migrate your data with any other external um, uh, configuration tools okay like you can do it that will be like if if you want to do uh, if you want to import the business data from any other finance system like quickbooks or something you know you have the bis uh, extensions here so you can just go when you sign up for business central you can tell like what type of uh, data which you wanted to uh, migrate okay so simply just go and search here and if you go and search for extension uh, management so here you can find extension marketplace so where you can find more option to migrate the data okay and also you can uh, set up the company with the configuration tools as well like configuration worksheets configurations uh, uh, configuration packages questionnaires templates and lot of uh, options are available for setting up the configuration files as well and you can set up and synchronize master data across company that is also possible with the help of business central so what you can do is you can just go and search for master data management okay just go and search for master data management so you can see a master data management setup uh, where you can search for the source company um, so you can just go search for which company you are planning to do that so uh, like master data management like how you can just make it uh, manage there okay so with the master data management function you can synchronize master data across several companies so if you want the same data across several companies so you can do this using a master data management setup so you can use you can subscribe to your company to uh, data of another company you can define the tables and fields to synchronize you can use job queues immediately to synchronize the changes to receive the companies and you can review the synchronization logs in the receiving company as well okay all these uh, are possible here in the in terms of a data so if i wanted to synchronize all these data enable data synchronization just click here enable data synchronization where all the data whatever you are just trying to um, uh, save it and the demo company will be synchronized to the uh, must uh, chronos chronos company as well so these are the important thing which when you are dealing with a companies you should note it note it note this okay so how to migrate the data and how to manage the master data so i'll see you soon with the next exciting topic in the next week so please stay tuned if you have any queries please leave that in the comment and if you want your query to be answered within 24 hours uh, or a shorter period so you can consider joining the community okay here you can consider joining the community here and ask for the questions so take care bye bye